Hamas from Beirut uh, being reported by the Reuters news agency. Well, uh, let's turn to the aid situation because Juliet Tuma is from the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, UNRWA, and she told me a little earlier how difficult it's been for the agency to reach their staff in Gaza. We have only one line of communications with our director, who is currently in the south of the Gaza Strip. Um, but even that is a bit patchy. However, in the past few minutes while I was waiting to go on this live, uh, we managed to re-establish some contacts with what we call area officers. This is our teams who are spread around the Gaza Strip. So uh, that's that's um, that's good. And we've had, of course, because of the telecommunications uh, collapse, uh, to reduce uh, some of our operations as of this morning. Lots of areas that you touch on. Just in terms of what those staff members have been telling you, what they have gone through, what it is like over the last uh, overnight and this morning, because you've already lost so many staff on the ground over the last three weeks. Uh, give me an idea, a picture of what they're describing to you. So, yes, you're right. Andra has lost 53 of our colleagues. Um, they were killed uh, inside the Gaza Strip since the 7th of October, and the numbers are what we could confirm, but they're likely to be much higher, especially uh, amid the heavy bombardment and airstrikes over overnight. Um, our staff, many of them have been displaced themselves. Uh, many, however, continue to be out there to respond to the needs, especially in the shelters where UNRWA is hosting more than 600,000 people in uh, 150 of our shelters. Uh, just give me, I know it's very difficult, but are you hearing anything about casualty numbers overnight? And what is the rough figure you have in your mind of roughly how many people are still in the north, the, the area that's now coming under attack that the Israelis have, have told people to leave? Now, to your last question, I do not have this uh, information. Andra does not have this um, this information. And on the casualty figures, because of the telecommunications collapse, we were not even able to get an update on the number of casualties that are likely to be among our staff. So the number still stands as of yesterday at 53, but very likely that it's going to be uh, much higher, I'm afraid.